Hey guys, welcome back to Reviews and How-Tos. I'm Tyler. Today we're gonna be checking out this automatic pet feeder and it's by Pet Libro. Super cool, super easy to use. This one is the one that is uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, it's smart, which makes it easy to program. Uh, the one that we used to have, you couldn't program like that. You just had to go in here and push buttons and manually do it. That sounds easy, but Realistically, that is a pain uh, on an automatic pet feeder because you have to dial in how much you want to feed your pet. You got to like figure out how much they need to be fed each time that you want to feed them. And it's it's really hard. It's just, it's really complicated to do with the ones that aren't smart, uh, Wi-Fi enabled, uh, especially when you've got to keep on, you know, pulling it up, putting your numbers in and hoping that you get it correct. Whereas with this one, you can just pull your phone out and simply push a few buttons and you're good to go. Uh, this thing's really easy to use. You just twist this top right here, pops open. You'll put your food in here. Has a little filter thing in here. Uh, you can replace this every few months or so, and it's supposed to keep the food nice and fresh. Uh, you put this back on, twists, good to go. If you need to clean this, it's super easy to do. Uh, there's two little tabs on here, pops up. You can take everything apart and clean the insides of this. It's super simple to do. I've never even really Done that. I've only had this for about a month. And then you have all the buttons here on the outside where you can manually program it if you want to. Uh, like I said though, I do it all on my phone. You're going to be downloading the Pet Libro app and then this is what it'll do. It'll pull it up. Uh, you can go in here, program everything, uh, set different schedules for different days. You can turn off these schedules. You can turn them on. You can hit a button right here to where you can feed them now. I'll go ahead and show you that. Uh, it does have like a little voice thing that activates that you can record or you can use the pre-recorded one in here. I'm going to feed them the smallest amount here really quick because my cats are running around and they might come running up here. Kitty kitty is down here. All right. Kitty kitty is down here. It says that a few times uh, and you can program it how many times you want it to say that uh, and it'll say it, you know, either once or twice or however many times you need to to get the attention of your cats and then it's going to start feeding them. Uh, I sort of moved this one around so it's not like quite set up. Let's go ahead and push that one more time so the, the food is not in the actual crater. So the second time it should fall right out. There we go. But yeah, as I saw, uh, I had this thing tipped over sideways because I actually uh, wanted to show you something and that is that it is also uh, capable of running on batteries. I did not have batteries in there, so that's why I turned it sideways. But as you can see right there, and as soon as I did that, this popped up on my phone. It said, hey, you're now running on battery. That's really cool. Good to know that I get that notification. Uh, and right there you go, battery powered only. Uh, I've never actually used this function of it because I've never put batteries in it. I do not have batteries in it now, and I'm sure they last quite a while. The last automatic pet feeder that I had that had batteries in it, it lasted about six months on three d size batteries is what we put in here. So right there, if you want to put batteries in this, make sure you pick you up some d size batteries for use in here. Uh, then we put this little cover back on here. Boom, just like that. And then this is your little food tray. It comes apart, two separate pieces. You can, you know, clean this separately or clean this. Uh, slides right back in there. And then it does like sort of clip in there so that it doesn't, you know, go moving around or your cats or dog or whatever moves it around. And speaking of your cats and dogs trying to get food out of this thing, I've got four cats. They like playing with everything and they'll put their paws in here. They can't get anything out of it. And this is all- That's locked is you hear it's all locked up right there so they can't like push a button and get food out of here without doing some crazy combo i've never even done the combo on the front of this because like i said i use everything on the phone uh let me see if there's any other cool little features here that i can show you like i said it's wi-fi enabled you can plug it in you can run it on the battery you have a schedule that you can set here boom right there schedule um media mill call which is what we went over already is in regards to the mill uh, has a user manual in here uh, units of measurement so you can do all different units of measurement uh, each time you feed them you can feed them a little bit like i have here multiple times per day or you can feed them like one big time per day if you want to uh, it has different notification settings in here it will let you know whenever you are running low on food and you can actually pair this with your uh, amazon account and it will automatically order food for you or give you the uh, ability to automatically uh, 
order more food whenever you're running low. So that's cool. So you're never going to run out of cat food. Uh, you can mute the device so that it's not making noises. So if you need to feed them at night and you don't want that meal call, it'll just dump the food and you don't have to worry about waking up anybody. Um, then Wi-Fi settings, firmware update, uh, basic little stuff like that. So overall, fantastic, cool little device here. Uh, I think it's pretty much the best one on the market. Uh, I know it sells really, really well. So uh, if this is something you're interested in, I think it's the best. Go ahead and check her out.